Today, I took all the greatest players in NBA history and put them in one league. And we'll watch all of them go from 40 overall to 99 overall. Over the course of their careers, each player will have a chance to win GOAT points by winning a championship, an MVP, and many other ways. The player with the most GOAT points by the end of all their careers is the GOAT. Subscribe to the channel so I don't have to get a real job and like the video. Let's go. So here's all the best players in NBA history is 40 overalls. And I'm sure you also notice all of them have a 2 in front of their name or at the end. Some players will have a chance to get GOAT points at the end of their career, like all time stats. So I want to be able to distinct the actual Kevin Durant from, you know, the Kevin Durant we're using in this video. And no player has their previous stats or what they did in action. Sorry, in their actual career. So it's all like a fresh slate. And here is the GOAT point system just to break it down really quick. Five points for finals MVP, three points for MVP, two points for Depoy, one point if you make all NBA first team that year, and one point if you let in a category of points, rebounds, assists, blocks, or steals. And we'll be keeping track of all that on this very long spreadsheet that I made with all 400 players on this list. And I will update you yearly on the progression of this uh, of this uh, spreadsheet. So let's sim the first season and see, I guess, who wins the chip. So Bill Walton's our first MVP, averaging 10 points and 26 rebounds. Nobody's making shots. That's why the rebounds are nuts. Literally everyone's a rookie, so obviously, but you don't get any points for that. The DPOI was Matumbo, averaging 1.9 blocks per game. And to no surprise, our entire first team is centers. Because again, nobody could score yet. Here's how to stand look with Detroit being the first seed in the East and in the Western Conference. If I can get over there, we have the Timberwolves going 60 and 22 with their best player. Well, I mean, they're all 40 overalls, but like their most like known player, I guess it, this is, I don't really know. I guess, yeah, Jerry West, I guess. And the Pistons have Batum. So Bill Wallen and Will both averaged 10.9. Bill scored a total of 896 points and Will scored 894. So I'm going to give the edge to Bill. Matumba was the leader in rebounds. Jokic led an assist with 2.6. Austin Carr led in steals with 1.1. And Matumbo and Eaton are tied with Eaton having 143 blocks. But Matumbo had 158, so he gets the edge. So it looks like the Kembe and Wallen are eating early. But let's go ahead and see who makes the finals. So we have the Bucks and the Jazz in the finals. Who's starting? This is a crazy team for the Bucks. Who, who are their good players? Because there was a normal draft that happened. So, like, it was just like all the best players got drafted, like actual 99s and all the way down. But I guess Cloud was their first pick. We got the Bucks trying to force a game seven. And yes, it's a very low score. Quickly with the floater. Got it with probably a 26 mid range. So, but he knocks it down. Got Bam Garner Sabonis. You're good defense from Bam, and that should do it. Although, also, nobody can shoot free throws, so that's going to be tough. I guess I would just keep fouling the whole game until they make him, because it's going to be really hard to. Christie for three! Okay, well, I mean, you know, I, I guess he had a chance. And we will have ourselves a game seven. Bam with 22 rebounds. And the Bucks fall hard, but the Jazz are walking away with this one. Now, what's kind of wild about this is all these players are the same overall. But you get five points for being the finals MVP. So I, I, don't, I don't know who played the best for them, but I guess we're going to see. I thought about giving points to everybody, like every person on the championship team, at least like maybe get a point or two. But honestly, I thought that would just take way too much time to just give like the 14th person on the end of the bench a point for no reason. You know what I mean? So I just, we're trying to get GOAT points here, not like, you know, bench warming point so i just thought best part of the championship team just you know gets all get most of the glory or all of it i guess and Wemby is holding the trophy but we know how 2k works it doesn't mean he's the finals mvp there is a spot for the bots as a collective on the go uh, on the uh, on the spreadsheet so the bots do all kind of work together there's one bot per team and victor was the finals mvp so he is getting five points here we are in player progression with most players going out three to four overalls now the guys who didn't play aren't gonna go up that much but maybe they'll five minutes later on or maybe they want it all you know you just kind of uh, first come first serve i guess and after one season Wemby and Bill Walton are tied at five. We got Matumbo right behind him, and then a bunch of guys haven't won if he made first team or if you let in a stat category. Just to be clear, I am going to leave everybody on the same team that they're already on because if I let these guys go through free agency, it's just going to turn wild, and some guys may not even return to the NBA or retire because they're such low overall. So I don't want any chance of that happening. So they're going to play out their careers on the same team. And it's also easy to remember who's on what team. Robert Parrish is your MVP, averaging at seven points and 15 rebounds. Matumbo back to back depoy. We got a forward finally in all NBA first team with KG. The Pistons were the first team winning six. 60 games and in the Western Conference, the Spurs were the first seed. Shout out KG leading the league in scoring with 10 points a game. I know it's not insane, but again, everyone's a 40 overall. Mark Eaton led in rebounds. Mark Jackson led in assists. D Wade led in steals. And Matumbo again leading in blocks. We have the Pistons and Trailblazers in the finals. What an insane matchup that features Rudy Gobert as their best player and Sean Marion on the other team. Nice. I was like, didn't Robert Parrish play on this team? He doesn't, he, he comes off the bench and he won MVP. And we got the Pistons going for a gentleman sweep. And look at the Bach getting minutes. Bro, wow. I mean, that's a... Oh, just just so you know, if you were curious, that's his three-point shot. I guess they'll get a second chance because DeRose is not making either of these. It's like the only thing that even with like all lowered stats, it just doesn't work no matter what. Like you're just not going to make a 25 free throw. I guess they could throw a full-core shot in because again, they're not making the free throws. Throw it up.
You thought it. You, I know you thought it. I did too. Okay, we're going to game six. But the Pistons secure the championship here in game six. Now, Robert Parrish came off the bench. So is he going to get finals MVP just like he got MVP? I don't even know who that is. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not kidding. Oh, that's Christian Leitner. Oh, okay. I would, okay. I just, I don't know. I, I don't know the last time I saw Christian Leitner. Rudy Gobert was the finals MVP. Man, the whole NBA world is hating right now. <laughs> I'm playing. All right, here we go. Is Gobert the best player in the world two years in? Is anyone else a 49 right now? <laughs> I don't think so. Gobert might actually be the best player in the world. And here's our go point board after year two. Dikembe's in the lead with seven points. Wemby, Bill Walton, Gobert right behind him. We got a couple other. It's all it's all big men right now, which is what we expected it to be so early on. But we'll see if other guys can step in and uh, make an impact by, you know, getting a jump shot or being able to pass the ball, those things. Uh-oh. <laughs> Rudy Gobert is your MVP. This video is going to make NBA discourse on Twitter so toxic. Matumbo's just stacking up these deep boys. And it's still all centers with KG. The Pistons were the one seed with 57 wins for the Western Conference the Timberwolves 150 games. KG leading again in points. Matumbo with the most rebounds at 15.6. Jerry West with the most assists at 3.8. We got a three-way tie in steals. Call Bell had 73. Iverson at 69. And Wade at 78, so it's going to Wade. Matumbo had the most box. He is, just, he is dominating this coach stats with his defense. The Pistons are back in the finals, and Gobert is not starting this time for them. And we have Minnesota trying to make a 3-0 comeback here in Game 7. Malone step back midi. Got it! A two-point lead for Minnesota! Can they at least try to make it a one-point game? Oh, he may, of course, if anyone's gonna make the impossible free throw, it's Rudy Gobert. Oh, that would have been cash. Good rebound. Was that is that Kiki Vanaway, I think? Nixon to Dan Marjorie. Knocks it down! <laughs> of course! Of course he does! Why wouldn't he? Probably gonna go in the overtime here because Kiki was just gonna just nice shot. Okay, well, you hit rim. And the Detroit Pistons were able to dominate in overtime and steal this championship from Minnesota. Now, I'd agree that, you know, the, the Minnesota would have stolen the championship, you know, be down 3-0. But they were literally two seconds from a ring, and Dan Marjolet just hits that three, to, to, which was ridiculous, by the way. Contested, and he has like a 33 ball. That's just crazy. Now, if Rudy Gobert wins this finals MVP, he will take the lead in the GOAT race. Well, they're handing him the trophy. That's nice. And he is holding that finals MVP, but you never know. And Robert Parrish was the finals MVP. Okay. We got some players over 50 overall now. Although, who's the best part of the league? Is it still Gobert? Is it Gobert and Parrish now? Those are the two guys. So, bonus is also 53. Okay. And after three years, Matumbo's in the lead with 11. And we have Gobert and Parrish right behind them. Both guys, by the way, on the same team with nine points each. So, even if you're on a great team and it's hard to actually get the points because you're getting outshined by somebody else, Gobert and, and Parrish are just, you know, proving that wrong right now. We finally have some guards. Slash four, Clyde Jexer is your MVP. Josh Smith is your defensive player of the year. Okay. And our NBA first team only features two centers. The Bucks were the first seed winning 65 games, and in the Western Conference, the Timberwolves were the first seed. Will Chamberlain led the league in scoring at 10.4. Elvin Hayes led in rebounds with 12.9. We got a three-way tie with assists. Jay West with 272. Mark Price with 260. And Nash with 258, so Jay West is going to get the tiebreaker. Got a tie in steals. Wade had 90, and Chris had 74. And Dale Ellis led the league in blocks. We got the Bucks and the Wolves back in the finals. Isn't Clyde Drexler on this team? Why do teams keep benching their MVP? The Bucks are trying to stay alive and set at the seven. 3.7 seconds left. We got, are we going to get the ball in hello guys west three seconds johnson jones midi oh, almost but now we're going to a game seven we'll see if minnesota blows this and we got ourselves a close game seven. Oh wow the mvp's in the game that's a good sign you better hope his free throw's still low because i mean he might make at least one of these yeah he's, he's got it at a 40 at least second one to make it a five point game Missed it. I mean, it's not over, but it's just really hard to score in this league when everyone's a 50 overall. So, Jerry kicking it to Kiki. Kiki driving. I mean, that's just a wide open. Yeah, okay. I don't, yeah, that was wide open. Two point game. 10 seconds. Hello, Michael Red. Got it. What a shot from Michael Red. Will they get robbed another year or will this finally be their championship? Eight seconds left. Clyde Drexler, the MVP, driving four seconds for the championship. Missed the layup and that should do it because the Bucks don't have any timeouts, but we all know that full court shot could still go down because he is not making both of these free throws. First one is in. Second free throw up and it's off. Got the rebound. Got to throw it up. A prayer. It's, just, it's not funny anymore. It's just, it's just not. Shout out Minnesota. They, they got robbed last year, bro. They, they were very much robbed with, with the other, the Pistons hitting a three to send the overtime. Now they're the ones hitting the three to win the game in Game Seven. So good for them. And the Finals MVP was Bob Lanier, so he's getting five points. The highest overall player, I guess, is a 56. Maybe there's a 57 out there, and it doesn't. Oh, there's a couple. There's Jokic right there and Porzingis. So we're almost in that 60 threshold. And after four years, Matumbo was still in the lead with nine points. We got Parrish and Gobert there. Bob Lanier got him some points. Clyde Dressler got some points for winning MVP. So we'll see what happens in these next couple of years. And I don't think Matumbo got any points. 
points that year. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Did he lead the league in blocks? I don't even think he did that. I don't think he got any points. Maurice Lucas is your MVP. Otombo's back to win in deep boys. And our first team's back to all centers and forwards. The Kings were the first seed in the East, and the Bucks were the first seed in the West. So, wow. Not, you get it. Reverse. We got a tie for the league leader in scoring. T Mac finished with 923 points. And Will had 927, so Will gets a tiebreaker. Evan Mobley had the most rebounds. Norm Nixon had the most assists. JoJo White with the most steals. And a three way tie for blocks. Matumbo had 134. Glenn Rice had 131. And Dallas had 128, so Matumbo gets the tiebreaker. And yet again, we have the Timberwolves and Pistons in the finals. I thought our matches would be a little more diverse with everyone being literally the same overall, but I guess, you know, Pistons, Timberwolves, just uh, let's go. The Pistons have a chance to close this out in six. Jerry gonna use the screen here. Jerry, pull up midi. That's a crazy shot. And he knocks it down. And just based on the numbers, they should miss one free throw at worst. So, okay, or not. That would suck for Minnesota if they didn't miss one. And he did miss one. Two-point game. No timeouts, though. Four seconds, Jerry. Three seconds, Jerry. Two seconds, contested three. Oh, he put it in. <laughs> He put it in. Why do guys make shots when they have worse overall ratings? I don't understand. And Minnesota just forced a game seven. Why is every single game they play in just ridiculous? How does he make that? And we have another thriller here in game seven. Dre West can use the screen here. Fade away three. He's different. He's different. He's, he's literally different. Norm trying to drive. Nice pass to Parrish, former MVP, and ties it up. 20 seconds left in overtime. Going to send Roy Hibbert to the line here. First one up. Missed it. Can he knock down the second one? He can't. But this isn't over. West can miss both of these easily. All right, well, he makes the first. This guy's clutch. I mean, he just, you know, he is quite literally the logo. So, you know, it kind of makes sense. He missed the second free throw, though. Four seconds. Clay trying to drive. He's going to get a tough shot. Step back, Mitty. Oh, in and out for the championship is nasty. This is gearing up to be the greatest rivalry in sports. Minnesota, Detroit. And Raheem was actually the finals MVP. We got some 60 overalls now. And a 62 in Rudy Gobert. He's actually the highest overall player in the game right now. Him and Sabonis. And after five years, Matumbo was still in the lead with 14 points. Somebody like KG hasn't really done much, but he's been all NBA pretty much every single year except for one, I think, and then one a stat category. So he just keeps creeping up. Gobert's kind of stayed put. Robert Parrish hasn't done much either. And there's still really only a couple guards here in this top 20 list. Clyde Juxer with another MVP. Evan Mobley is your DPOI. And we have a guard back in first team, obviously, Clyde. The Bucks were the first seed, and in the Western Conference, the Warriors were the first seed. Jalen Brown led the league in scoring. Okay. Gobert back on the scoreboard with rebounds. We got a tie for assists. Norm Nixon at 401. And Reggie at 335. So Norm gets a tiebreaker. We have a five way tie in steals. Okay. And Hardaway was actually the most steals. He had 97. I think Jokic had 95. And Iverson had 94. Reggie had 94. But Hardaway got the tiebreaker. Sorry, Tim Hardaway. And Dale Ellis of the league in blocks. We finally have a new finals matchup. And we got Will going up against Patrick Ewing. Good matchup. This might be the highest scoring game all video. And the Nets are going to win this series in six, I believe. But Ewing's going to be holding the trophy. And the finals MVP, so it could be him too. And Patrick Ewing was the finals MVP dropping 10 and 12. The highest overall right now is 65. I, oh, what, who was 67 right there? Was that Marquine at a 67? And yes, there is free agents here that are higher overalls than our guys right now. But obviously, we don't want these guys getting on teams. That's why I keep everybody on the same team. But anyway, here's our go points ladder here. Matumbo still in the lead with 14 points. Clyde Drexler catching up here with eight. KG staying steady with seven points. He's found a way to get at least a point every single year, except I think for the first year. So we'll see if anyone can catch Matumbo. Drexler is now a three-time MVP. So he's going to start catching up soon, but Matumbo's another depoy. And we have another guard on first team. Welcome, D-Wade. Portland's the first seed in the West, and in the East, we have the Bucks. Will led the league in scoring. Gobert led in rebounding. Norm Nixon in assist again. Got a tie in steals. JoJo with 109. And Kiki with 105, so JoJo gets the uh, the upset. The, 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 whatever. You, you know what I'm trying to say. And Matumbo led in block. Shocker. I guess we got a new rivalry here. Thunder Nets. And Giannis is now starting for the Nets. That's good. Unless I just didn't see him the first time. The Thunder are trying to close this out in five, but they got to find a way to get a stop here. And now Rose will go to the free throw line. First one up. Missed it. We're still missing free throws here. What are we, year six, seven? Got to at least make one here to make it a two possession game. And he misses both. Unless they somehow miss both again and they hit a full court shot. First one for Ryder here. It's in. That'll do it. This game is so weird for like that even hitting rim. I guess Wilt should win this finals MVP, which is going to, I don't know if it's going to put him in first, but no, 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 he's not going to be in first. But this should put him in the top five. And Isaiah Ryder was the finals MVP. Wow, Wilt, it's got to feel robbed right there. We got some 70 overalls now with Siakam. Anybody else at 70? I think I just saw Giannis with that. Yeah, wow, the whole starting five for the Nets is 70. And Rudy Gobert is a 72. <laughs> just him getting this good is crazy. So if Wilt got that finals MVP, that would have put him in the top five, but he got kind of robbed, I guess. Matumbo still stands tall as in first place, but 
Clyde Drexler right behind him. He just won two straight MVP, so he's making up some ground. And also, D Way starting to creep up too, being one of the first guards to really make some noise. Obviously, taking out Clyde Drexler outside of him. We got D Rose with an MVP. Good to see him get on the board. Rudy Gobert with another D boy. First team has two guards on it. The Bucks won 60 games in the East, and in the Western Conference, OKC was the first seed. Mitchell led the league in scoring with 13.8. Gobert led the league in rebounding. Steve Nash led an assist. We got a tie with Wade and JoJo White here. Wade had 118, and JoJo had 115, so it goes to Wade. And we got a tie with Josh Smith and Mark Eaton for blocks. Josh had 139, and Eaton had 137, so it goes to Josh. We got ourselves a Bucks Blazers finals. Best player for the Blazers is Sean Marion, and they have Tom. Is Tom the best player? Yeah, I guess so. The Bucks have a puncher's chance in game seven. So now we're going to play the free throw game, which does work out in the Bucks' favor. Okay, I guess not. Oh, there's the three time MVP, Clyde Drexler. Good to see him here. Mid range. Got it. Okay, well, they're not dead. Can Tony go two for two at the line? First one up. It's in. Second one to put it back to a three possession game. And he missed it. Clyde Mitty. Missed it. That'll do it. And the finals MVP was Akeem. Okay. Got Larry Bird up to a 73. Who's the highest rated player right now? Probably still Gobert. I'd assume Yogi's a 76, though. This dude Gobert's a 77. How does he do it? Everyone has three more years to get good before I send the whole league to hell by making everyone a free agent or when their contract ends. But the Kemi still holds first at 17. We got Wade at the six points. Akeem's at the six points after winning the finals MVP. But, you know, no one's really challenging with Tembo yet. Gobert's kind of right there. He, he hasn't had any points in a while, except for last year. He got a couple, but still. We'll see if a new challenger approaches. Okay. Mark Price is your MVP. MVP dropping 16, 4, and 6. Shout out Mark and Josh Smith back to being depoy. All NBA first team features four guards. Wow. The needle is starting to move. The Bucks were the first seed in the East, and in the West, we have the Timberwolves. Kiki Vandaway led the league in scoring. Sean Marion led it in rebounds. Okay. Norm Nixon with assists. We got a tie with steals. Kiki at 123. And JoJo at 121, so Kiki gets it. And Josh Smith leading in blocks again. We got a Nets and Pelicans matchup. Pelicans best player is Matumbo. Okay, he's literally the GOAT right now. And we will go up against Patrick Ewing. And the Nets just went ahead and smacked the Pelicans. Pelicans in a sweep. And so far, Penny's holding the trophy, so maybe he's the finals MVP. Every time I see Brooklyn in the finals, Wiggins always has a good game. And Penny was your finals MVP, averaging 16, 6, and 8. We got a couple high 70 overalls with everyone having two years left on their contracts, except the Go-Go Bears up to an 81. Well, Matumbo's still at the top there with 17, and everyone's just kind of evening out right now. Like, there's no one insane coming up like that. I thought Drexler was going to make a run, but he kind of slowed down the last year or two, so I'm not really sure who's going to be taking control here and trying to dethrone Matumbo. It might be Gobert. Jokic with an MVP. And look at Sergi Bob again DPL that's good to see got a pretty normal NBA first team list here I feel like the Bucks have been the first seed in the East for like the, the, the entire video but anyway the West Conference Pelicans are the first seed Mark Price led the league in scoring Sean Marion again in rebounds Steve Nash again in assists we got a tie in steals which I feel like we always do Jojo had 122 and Wade had 120 so it goes to Jojo and Ibaka led in blocks with two got ourselves a Nets and Grizzlies finals Grizzlies the best player is Yao Ming and obviously the Nets have Ewing and Wiggins who is very underrated we got Memphis trying to close it out in six Giannis for three Knocks it down, Giannis. Reggie trying to go to work on Penny. Trying to hold his ground. Gets the layup to go. We got a three-point game. And they have no timeout. So if they make one free throw, this is pretty much our first one up. It's in. We're no longer in the, you know, can't make a free throw era. So, you know, they're at least going to get one. And that is the first time I've seen someone make two. And Reggie's holding the finals MVP. Or he's holding the trophy. But we'll see if he actually gets the finals MVP. And Reggie was finals MVP. Looks like the Pacers are doing well. See everybody else is going. Who's an 85? Patrick who's an 85. My God. But everyone now has one left on their contract. So after this, it's just going to be everyone going to whatever team they feel like. Because salary resolves. Because, you know, if I turned it on, then they would just be like in the, the game would crash. I feel like Matumbo's had 17 points for a while. But Jokic is definitely catching up. He just got that MVP. And, you know, He's a, I don't want to say stat stuffer, but he, you know, he puts up the numbers, especially in a 2K sim, so he, he's, look out. Well, that's got to be the weirdest MVP in 2K history, but, you know, quickly enjoy it, man. Gobert back to win in deep poise, and first team is all guards. The Bucks for the, like, the 10th straight year of the first seed, and the Thunder are the one in the West seed, or West seed, Western Conference. My brain's trying to keep up with a lot of stats here, so, you know, anyway, uh, BJ Armstrong like points, we have a tiebreaker here. BJ had 14-11, and Michael had 14-10, tough. Gobert led in rebounds, Nixon in assists. We got a four-way tie here. Well, look like Van Arstel had the lead here with 124. Lily just trickled down like one by one until Wade got to 119. And Shaq led in blocks. We got a finals of Nets Pelicans, which if Matumbo gets this ring and gets five points by being finals MVP, that'll be huge. And the Nets are going to win it here in seven. Well, Penny's holding the trophy. How many points does he have right now? I think like six or seven maybe. So this will help a lot for him. See, look at Wiggins, man. 16 and 11. Always doing his thing. And Penny was finals MVP. Well, after running some tests, making them all free agents just absolutely breaks the league. I thought turning salary cap off would make this not happen, but like so many guys just got left unsigned. 
signed. And like most teams have like six players and some even have like one player or none. And then when I send the regular season, everyone's rosters are just out of whack. Like this team picked up six bots. So I'm just gonna have everybody re-sign to the team they were already on and we'll just keep going like that because I can't have, this just destroys the video pretty much. So here's everyone on their team, on the team they're supposed to be on with a six year deal. So everything you just saw like five seconds ago doesn't matter. So we're just back on track. And here's how the go points look. I still have a tie here with Gobert and Matumbo. Jokic at 13, Klein and Penny at 12. And look at Josh Smith with seven points. Sean Marion with an MVP. Josh Smith with another DPOI. And first team feature in four guards. The Bucks have been the first seed every single year. And for the West, we have the Blazers. T Max scored the most points with 18. Marion led in rebounds with 10. Derek Gross had the most assists with 8.7. Jerry West had the most steals. And Matumbo had the most blocks. Got ourselves a Nets Wolves finals featuring Giannis and Patrick Ewing voice Roy Hibbert. And I guess Kiki is their second best player, Michael Red. He's been, he's been big in the hopping games. And the Wolves are going to get themselves a ring. And I think that's Kiki holding off the trophy. And Kiki was the finals MVP, averaging 16. Let's see if anyone's hit 90 overall yet. I guess Gobert. Yeah, Gobert and uh, Aldridge have hit 90. I wonder if anyone's actually going to hit 99. It's probably going to be close. I think we're in year 13 now. And glad to see we have a pretty close race. Matumbo got himself a point to take the lead there. But Gobert dropped behind him with 17. And obviously, he's the highest overall player in the game right now. Penny Hardaway's got 13. Jokic has 13. So there's a lot of guys that are kind of right there. Even Kiki got himself up to 10. So we'll see how this goes down the next, you know, three or four years. Jerry West gets himself an MVP. Shane Battio, the defensive player of the year. That's a throwback. Here's how first team's looking. The Lakers are the first seed in the West and the Bucks, of course. Kenny Anderson led the league in points. Marion in rebounds again. Norm Nixon in assist again. Shane Battier in steals. And we got a tie for blocks. Where Matumbo has 140. And Ibaka has 136. So Matumbo gets the edge. And we have the Bucks and the Jazz in the finals. I feel like we should see the Bucks more for how many times they're the one seed. But, you know, we gonna do. And the Bucks are gonna get themselves a chip. I'm surprised Webby hasn't gone too crazy in this video. Well, if Clyde can get this finals MVP, he'll tie up with Gobert and just be two behind Matumbo for first place. And Bobby Jones won finals MVP. That's a robbery to Clyde. We got a few more 90 overalls here. Jokic is a 91. If you're wondering where LeBron's been this whole video, he's an 85 right now. And uh, really isn't doing too much. All right, we're approaching year 14, I believe. So really only like probably six years left, maybe seven, which is plenty of time for a guy like Sean Marion to start catching up here. And maybe D Wade, Kiki Vandaway, Clyde got robbed there for finals MVP. So there's a lot of time. Well, that's a big MVP for this video. Shane Battier going back to back. Here's our first team. It's literally been every single year. I decided this is just straight dominance. And for the Western Conference, the Lakers, Kenny led in points again. Finally, it's not Marion. AK's got the rebounds. Derek Gross had the most assists. We got a three-way tie for steals. And Kawhi had the most of 134. And there's a tie for blocks, but Mutombo had the most of 150. Got the Bucks back in the finals versus the Thunder. I don't know if we've seen the Thunder in the finals. Maybe once. Yeah, I remember Will be in there at least once. Bucks are trying to hold on here, secure this chip. But they gotta go to the line. And by now, I mean, they should be able to make free this at this point. Yeah, okay. Second one to make it a two-possession game. Clyde. Got it. Isaiah Ryder off the wilt screen. Ryder, three ball. Got it. Tough shot from Ryder. Shea with the first free throw. Got it. Second one to make it a three-point game. No timeouts for OKC. He missed it. Ryder trying to drive. Clyde with some great defense. It's off. That should do it. Well, that will do it. And Clyde again was not the finals MVP. Can't be Russell. This might be our first dose of retirements here. I haven't seen anyone retire since, but it looks like we got some guys. But I guess these guys weren't getting that many minutes. I'm sure Westbrook only got to a 77 before retiring. That's tough. Let's see if anyone got up and overall. Again, this video ends when everyone retires, so we'll just have to wait and see how long that takes. But now some teams are going to start getting bad because a lot of these people are going to be out of the league. But Matumbo holds the lead with 20 points. Go bear right behind him. Clyde Jackson with 16. Could have been a 21, but unfortunately couldn't get that. We got a very close race. Here. All right, we got a pretty normal MVP here in Giannis. Scotty Pippen was the depoy. And here's how first team's looking. I've never seen a team this dominant in my life. Anyway, there's a the Grizzlies as the first seed as well. Kenny Anderson just took over the scoring. Shaw Marion's back to rebounding. Nixon leading in assists. Dre West for steals. And we got a three-way tie for blocks. And Shaq has the most at 151. The bus continued her dominance and are back in the finals. I guess a Laker team with Steve Nash, Flood. I don't think the team's been here before. And Battier. And that'll be yet another ring for the Bucks. You know, making this video, I didn't think there'd be much dominance from anybody, considering everyone's like the same overall, but the Bucks have just been the first seed like every single year so I, I don't know and now here's the main question will Clyde finally get his finals MVP and Jimmy Butler was the finals MVP I you know I wish I can say that in real life I'll I will go to my knees and cry got a lot more retirements here coming Kenny Anderson the scorer who was leading the league score for like the past like four years is out but there's still plenty of players in the league left so yeah should, wow okay that team had nobody on it this team has like six players wow but most teams have a 10-man rotation of still players we've had well here's the go points but Thomas still to lead with 20 I feel like Clyde Jackson should have about like 
like, you know, 30 points right now, but he is just, I guess, not good enough in the finals. He must just be falling off. And we see more guys retiring. Most guys now are about 34, 35 years old, so it's going to get kind of rough here the next couple years. Well, there goes Cloud winning MVP. And look at Paul George making an appearance in the video with a deep boy. Here's how first team's looking. I can't believe they've been this dominant. Like, I, I mean, I guess they have like three different MVPs, but still. BJ Armstrong now leads the league in points. Marion back with the rebounds. We got a three-way tie for assists, but Iverson had the most with 683. Joe Caldwell had the most steals and surged with the most blocks. The Bucks and Pelicans back in the finals. Oh, look, there's a 93 Matumbo. The Bucks are trying to close this out in five. Tatum trying to go up on Drexler. Got it to go. All right, we got a tie game. Quickly using the BAM screen. Quickly trying to drive. Step back, Mitty. Got it. Tough shot for the former MVP. Five seconds on the clock here. What are we doing? Quickly going to use the eight and screen. Quickly pump fake and nothing there. Just pulls up a three and knocks it down from the dagger. Oh, he's holding the trophy. But hey, listen, that does not guarantee anything. I don't, I don't know. And Clive Jexer was the finals MVP. That's huge. Got a lot more retirements coming our way. I wonder if teams will start having not five minutes. Okay, this is a lot of retire. Oh my lord. <laughs> That's a lot of retirements, man. That might be like four teams. Shout out LeBron for like doing nothing this entire video. I was hoping to see him make an appearance at some point, but I uh, just didn't. He just didn't. All right, well, these teams are starting to run out of players, so um, it's it's getting close. And we now have a new leader of the video, Clyde Jackson, with 25 points. Although like 50 players or like 100 players just retired, so I don't know if these teams are still good. We'll have to see if, I, I don't know, if someone could just really come out of nowhere here these next few years. Well, Clyde's starting to run away with this. And Shane Batty is just a defensive god. Here's how first team's looking. I can't believe this team is still the first draft. They're just like all those players retiring but you know what are you gonna do chris mullen led in points per game with 23 paul gasol led in rebounds Derek harper and assists shane battier in steals and roni cycli in blocks we got the bucks back in the finals versus the grizzlies and the grizzlies best player is yao ming okay now i gotta be honest if this finals mvp is clyde drexler this video might be over i don't know if anyone's gonna be able to come back because he'll have 34 points and mattel will be the next person with 20 that's gonna be a tough comeback well he's not holding the trophy can't be russell was the final i think this is the second time winning it all right so everyone's off contract now but i think think enough talent has retired to where hopefully guys will go to teams they're supposed to go to. I'm not really sure. I kind of want to, I want to try and see what happens if the league disbands. So I'm going to try and if it goes haywire, then I'll just, you know, re-sign them all to the same team. No, if the league went to poop, look at all these free agents here. I, I simmed to the regular season. Yeah, there's this. So I, I, I can't, I can't just let them do whatever they want. So everybody will be returning to their team. Sorry if it kills the immersion a little bit, but you know, I got to run the experiment, right? All right, well, here's player progression. All the players that didn't retire are still on the team they're supposed to be on. And while it's true that Clyde Jackson does have a commanding lead right now, it's very possible someone can sneak up and beat him through bonus points at the end or what happens in the next couple years. So we'll have to just see what happens. Well, Clyde's trying to widen the gap here with another MVP. is the best defensive player of all time. And he's also on first team. The Bucks just never lose, don't they? It's just insane. Mullen landing points again with 23. Ronnie Cycli in rebounds. Derek Harper in assists. Shane Batty in with 2.3. And Ronnie in blocks with 2.3. Well, finally, the Bucks aren't in the finals. And we got a Bulls team whose best players, Tim Duncan and Brad Daughtry. We haven't seen this team in the finals, I don't think, at all. The Bulls got a shot here in game seven. And they're not going to foul here and start about good I thought that was a clean block maybe I missed something he even hit him what, what are we calling here what, what, what's the call <laughs> I don't I don't know what I don't I don't see a foul like down here I guess the end of it but like we're I don't know if they're calling that really whatever start about the line here makes the first we are way past the era of missing free throws so you shouldn't do that Brad would have floated or blocked yeah that's tough okay he's gonna try to fade her Knocks it down. Okay, five-point game. But we're going to play the free throw game here, which I would love to watch. Yeah, here we go. Someone's got to shoot the ball, guys. We got 18 seconds. White for three. Knocks it down. Okay, I guess they're not dead yet, but they have no timeouts. Second one here for Bane, and it's good. Oh, the Bulls put up a good fight here. Tim Duncan for three. Misses it. That'll do it. And Yao Ming's the finals MVP. All right, well, we got a lot more retirements. A lot of those Bucks players going on MVP, Clyde Drexler. Oh, yeah, these teams are starting to get rough. All right, so there's about like 115 players total. So, I mean, that's about a fourth of the league cut off from what it was about 420 before. So, about a fourth cut up. Or 3-4, sorry. And since Clyde's out, the only way he can earn points is through the bonuses after everyone's career's done. So anyone else here who's not retired yet can make some more noise than hopefully the bonus points come toward their way at the end. We got Larry Bird with an MVP dropping 38, 31, and 4. Probably because he's the only guy on his team left. And he won deep point with 3.5 steals and 2.4 blocks. He might get a lot of points here. And here's first team. Finally, the Bucks are bad, but the Nets... Well, they're not bad. They're 69 13 But the Nets went 77-5, and 5, and the Pelicans went 73-9. and 9, Which means there's some really bad teams out there like the Phoenix Suns... 
went 0 and 82. All right, so Bird led in scoring and rebounds, obviously, but it was close with Gasol. Paul Risen led in assists with 11. Bird led in steals, and Paul Gasol led in blocks with 3.6. We got the Nets and Pelicans in the finals, and this should be a good one. It matters. Yeah, UN's got a good amount of points. Or no, Matumbo does. Yeah, this is going to matter a lot. And the Nets winning game seven in an insanely high scoring game. And it looks like Giannis is going to be getting the finals MVP, but we'll see. And there goes Giannis with his finals MVP. Well, there goes Larry Bird and a whole lot of other players. Well, not too many. It should be. Oh, my God. Okay, that Minnesota team called it quits. But we are definitely running out of players on most of these teams. All right, we got about 50 players left. A little less than 50. Just right around there. And here's how the scoreboard is looking. Clyde was still a big lead. But shout out Bird for just getting nine points in one year. That might be the most I've seen someone get in one season. Maybe Clyde got an MVP and a championship. I don't remember. But it's really going to come down to what happens this year and then the bonus. We got Mark E with an MVP dropping 47 and 44. These kind of stats will help in the bonus points for sure. And DeAndre Jordan won deep point averaging 41 and 45. And first team is back to all forwards and centers. The Nets went 81 and 1. Okay. Probably the only team left with actual players. Eaton led in scoring. Kareem led in rebounds. Billy Ham, which is Billy Cunningham, but I had to take out the cunning part because they thought it was... Because the 2K has weird words you can't... I, I, I don't really feel like explaining it, but you get it. Durant led in steals. Is this the first time I'm seeing Durant? Are this his first points? And Mark Eaton had the most blocks. Wow, the 81 and 1 Nets lost to the Bulls. Okay. And they have a 40 overall starting at point guard. And the Bulls are going to smoke him here in this game seven. But a huge missed opportunity for Matumbo. Back to back years, right? He, yeah, back to back. Paul Ryzen won finals MVP. All right, well, we got a lot more retirements, but I don't think it's 50. We probably got about 20 more players in the league right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and count here. Well, we at least have 10. There's 24 players left. And as I said before, we're not done until every single player is retired, which is why I put the two next to them so I would know if they retired or not. And then also for the all time stats, you get it. But again, Clyde is still heavily in the lead. Uh, the only thing that's going to really help out at this point for these guys still left is them raising their stats for the all-time stuff so they can get some bonus points and hopefully eclipse Clyde. That'd really be their only chance. I don't really know how else they would pass him other than winning MVP and all that kind of stuff. Well, there goes KD dropping 57 and 50. <laughs> okay. And he was the DPOI. Here's how first team's looking. I was hoping we see someone go 82 and 0, but I guess not. Well, Malone led in points with 58. He also had the most rebounds. Cunningham had the most assists. We had a tie, but Lowry had more steals. And Malone had the most blocks. We got the Bulls back in the finals versus Memphis. And this Bulls team doesn't have a starting point guard, shooting guard. How is this team in the finals? I'm not even kidding. How is this team in the finals? They have two players. I guess most of these teams only have one or two players, so actually it kind of makes sense. And Memphis went ahead and swept them, and Cunningham was the finals MVP. Well, we have at least 10 retirements here, but I don't think everyone's gone. I think there might be like four players left. Yep, there's literally four players left, and shout out Wiggins, man. You know, I've been supporting him the whole video, and all he's done is just be consistent. Well, I would assume this is the last year, and I guess if one player wins MVP, DPOY makes first team, they lead in all five categories, or at least we'll say four of them, and then and wins finals MVP. That's like, what, like 17, 18 points? I mean, someone can make some noise here. And we come back around with Robert Parrish with an MVP average in 67 and 54. Malone was the depoy of the year, which I just kind of counter, I just said depoy of the, okay, whatever. First team has the four players and Desmond Hayes. Shout out this 45 overall dropping 27 rebounds. Also, shout out Wiggins for getting a point uh, thus far. Here's the standings if you care. You know, the players that have actual good players on them are going to do well. Parrish led in scoring. Malone in rebounding. Wiggins in assists. Wiggins in steals. And Yao and blocks. We got a Grizzlies Pistons finals. So it's just Parrish versus Yao just like by themselves. And who's on the Grizzlies? Parrish or no Yao. Yao just smoked uh, Parrish. And Yao was the finals MVP. I just skipped past it on accident. Not like you needed to see that because I mean it was pretty obvious. And all four players are tired meaning we are officially done with the actual sim. And here are how the GOAT points are stacked up before we do the bonus points. And just quickly how those work. If you are a stat leader out of all the you know the second players not like just of all time but any of the guys who are actually in this video. If you're a stat leader for one of the main guys in points rebound assists, steals, and blocks in total, then you get five points. If any of your career highs are displayed on the screen, you also get five points. So let's go check it out. So Paul Pierce led everyone in scoring out of all of our new players here with 29,000 points. So he just got five points. Should we just do every single category? That, that would be fun, right? Yeah, I think that makes sense. What, shouldn't we just do that? Yeah, let's make it interesting. Let's do that. So Yao led in field goals made with 11,000. Paul Pierce led in three-pointers with 5,000. Oh my god. Ah. Robert Parrish had the most free throws with 6,900. Robert Parrish also had the most rebounds. Those last few seasons definitely helped him out a lot with 24,000. Assist was Jerry West with 9,800. Blocks was Matumba with 3,000. That's going to help. Steals was KD with 2,200. Are we counting minutes as a stat? I, I guess we'll count it. Yeah, sure. All right, all right minutes. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I feel like if you let in turnovers, you should lose five points. I think that would make sense, right? So Paul Pierce should lose five. Yeah, that you know what? That makes sense. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Up next is field goal percentage where Ben Simmons. Oh, wait, sorry. DeAndre Jordan. I almost did not see him, but there's DJ. 
Lowry landing three four percentage at forty three percent. I don't think any of them are gonna be here for free throws because they were all so terrible the first like ten years of their career. In games play, we have a tie between Parrish and Yao at eighteen hundred and four. So we'll give them both five points. And the last one we'll do is triple doubles with Billy Cunningham. So now we're doing single game records. And if I see your name on this list, you're getting five points because they only do top five. It's not top one hundred. So if I see your name, you're here. And we got Moses Malo with one hundred and three, Parrish with ninety seven, KD with ninety six, and Rick Smith with ninety five. Um, next we have three pointers name where Paul Pierce's name pops up twice, so he is getting ten points. Up next we have rebounds where Derek Coleman had hundred and four. This is this is insane. Wow, assists nobody got here. Wow, okay. Blocks nobody got here. Okay, steals we got a couple guys. We got Kawhi twice and then Jerry West. And I guess we did total turnover, so it's only fair we do it for this too. So Pierce and Katie twice. That is unfortunate. And we'll have to putting all those numbers together. Robert Parrish just beats Clyde Drexler by two points. Now there were some categories I didn't put in this because. I didn't want them overbearing like points per game and total points like I didn't think it mattered that much but I also didn't do playoffs and I'm not gonna lie if I did do playoffs Robert Parrish probably would have won because he already has two here Malone has three here so it would have probably came down to those two guys but those guys having those end of the year stats that maybe Malone would have taken it actually Malone might have taken it because he has three stats here for just playoffs okay I did numbers for playoffs Robert Parrish would still win with 48 and Malone would get to about 33 points I think it was it was either 33 or 38 but Parrish would still be the winner of this challenge just no doubt no one would even catch him no matter what and this is very fitting because Paris did play 21 years in a league, so I guess it was survival of the fittest, and he just played out the longest. And those last, like, two, three years of him just stat-stuffing like crazy won him this video. So that's gonna do it. If I messed up someone's numbers by a point or two, I'm sorry. I'm managing a lot here. All these numbers and simming it and adding on contracts. It's a lot of work to put this video together. Oh, also, here's the rest of the list by the end, if you care. Yeah, there you go. There's the whole rest of the list. Uh, some people didn't score here. Only uh, 81 players scored it all. So there you go if you wanted to know that. Okay, goodbye now.